Slicer 3D is a free open source software which can be used for viewing medical images and creating ground truth masks. When you start Slicer 3D, the first screen is the welcome screen. There are four viewports. When you click on one, it gets zoomed in. To load data on Slicer, you can go to File, Load and then choose the file or the folder or you can directly drag and drop the files inside the software. After this, you have to tell the Slicer whether this file is an image or mask. Since this is an image, we select Volume. Now click OK. Double click on the image which you want to see. Now if you move the slider, you can go through the different slices since this is not a single image but a stack of slices. Now we can change to the data mode. We can see our image data is present but no masks are there. To create masks, we go to the segment editor. There are no masks so we create a new one by clicking here. We have these tools available to create segmentations. The first tool is the brush. We select the brush then go to the slice where we want to create mask. Now the area is too small as compared to my brush so I can zoom in on the image using control and the mouse wheel. Then we draw the area of interest, in this case, the left ventricle cavity. Then we move to the next slice, draw the ROI again. So one by one, we draw the mask where we think it is present. Please note that this is the first round of mask creation and it will not be perfect. So now we save this as a file before we send it for revisions. To save the files, we go to data, select the segmentation and right click export to binary format first. And then we export the binary map to any format which we like, such as Nifty, NRRD, DICOM, etc. So this is how you create a mask manually if you have less number of images. But if you have a huge stack of images, manually creating masks can be very tedious, especially if you have thousands of patients' data. In this case, level tracing is a very good option for creating masks quickly. Select this option and go to the image. The algorithm will automatically suggest ROIs based on where you place your cursor. Choose the mask which is most relevant and then click on the shape. It will be applied to your image. Similarly for other slices in the stack. Now you notice that the masks are not very smooth and they have jagged edges. For this, you can choose smoothening function. Gaussian smoothing works well for me. Otherwise, you can choose any other type of smoothing. Use 1.5 mm and then click apply. If it doesn't look good in the first application, you can apply it once more. And the beauty of this tool is that it will smoothen the entire stack of the slices, not only the current one. To save this mask, go to the data module, export to binary format and then export to file. This is how you can create quick segmentation masks on medical images for deep learning or machine learning applications. I hope you found the video useful. These videos and animations take a long time to create, so please support us by subscribing our channel.